Um, this actually might be a little bit awkward because this is a lot of people and I actually haven't um, come out to anyone yet. I mean, I know it's important to be open about your sexuality and whatever, but just, I mean, what would my parents say? I mean, it would go against everything that they've thought about me for the past 16 years. I just, I don't think that I can tell them that I'm straight. <laughs> but it's not just my parents who think I'm gay. Like the other day, I came home from school and my uncle had hung a rainbow flag in my room. <laughs> he hung it in the closet. <laughs> which is like a little bit ironic. Oh, and then for Valentine's Day, I found four lesbian-together cards in my locker. Oh, then, oh my God, for Christmas, my grandma bought me a, a pantsuit. <laughs> and a Bible. As if she was saying, I support your choices, but I know who doesn't. <laughs> That was awkward for me. But heteronormativity displays itself on a larger, more serious scale every day. In short, society confines sexuality to stereotypes, which makes straight people defensive because of the misguided negative connotations we associate with being gay. Wow, what a prevalent and topical serious undertone. Quiet from the audience, please. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be talking about why I'm a straight girl who doesn't mind being taken as a gay girl and why the LGBTQ plus community deserves more than we give them. Now, being straight, I'll admit it, I've had my ignorant moments. I guess I just don't know a lot of gay people other than my boyfriend. <laughs> So no matter how hard I try, I just always say stupid stuff. Like I used to think the term straight jacket was exclusively referring to North Face outerwear. <laughs> One time I tried to order lesbian food from a Lebanese restaurant. <laughs> they didn't have any. <laughs> Queerly beloved, <laughs> we are gathered here to gay. <laughs> okay, that's what I heard. That's what I thought they said. And that's what I thought you were required to say at a homosexual wedding, okay? I was so sure that I would have bet and lost a lot of money on it. I would have gone broker than a condom salesman at a speech and debate tournament. <laughs> I mean, 
I deal with the hypothetical stereotypes, but you live with the very real discrimination. Now, this might sound weird, but when people think I'm gay, I try not to deny it. Because why deny something that's not a bad thing, right? your blood type's O positive. You're not gonna say, I'm not O positive. Why would you think I'm O positive? I'm type A. Can't you see that I'm type A? Why would you think I'm O positive when I'm so obviously born with type A blood? And did you know that Jesus hates O positives? <laughs> you wouldn't, you guys, you wouldn't say that. You would just be like, okay, dude. It's sort of weird. We just met on the street and you just proclaimed my blood type. I mean, that's cool. Now, could you imagine that? Could you imagine if you were type O positive and you had to hear people every day, literally hyperventilating, trying to explain to people they're not your blood type. Like they were just accused of murder and not a biological factor. Now, I can, for one, imagine that. But I think it would feel pretty degrading. You all caught that that was about sexual orientation and not blood type, right? <laughs> Sorry, I just gotta make sure. I mean, I'm used to the ADS kids. <laughs> you know, the kids who aren't smart enough to rely on their intelligence, so they have to mask it with humor. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We can't all be debaters. far more alike than we are different. And we should treat each other like it. So I want us all to raise our glass and look around the room. We're not all straight. We're not all gay. We're not all bi or pan or trans or queer or lesbian. But we are all holding an absolutely ridiculous <laughs> position while pretending to hold an imaginary cup. <laughs> Okay, you guys, if someone not from forensics walked in here, this has got to look pretty Hillary. <laughs> I'm glad you guys stopped. That was weird. <laughs> now, I know that I might not be the most credible advocate, but if you're straight and you're in this room, I hope you take away one thing from this speech. Be open-minded. An ally is the most important thing you can be. Thank you.